Greetings, Fright fans, and welcome to day eight of our Edgar Allan Poe down, our Edgar Allan Poe countdown of the films of Edgar Allan Poe. So we're gonna choose another film at random to look at here. How's your Halloween going so far? You guys getting, I want you all to take some time every day to try to enjoy this Halloween season. I know this has been a weird year with the COVID stuff and everything going on, but I hope that this countdown will help bring you guys some Halloween spooky spirit. And I hope you all can take some time to enjoy each and every day during October, make it a little bit more enjoyable, a little bit more of a Halloween, getting a Halloween spirit. All right, so to uh, help you do just that, let's continue this countdown, reach in here. Tonight, we're gonna look at the 1934 version of The Black Cat. This film follows a pair of newlyweds, Peter and Joan Allison, played by David Manners and Julie Bishop, on their honeymoon aboard a train. There is a mix-up, and they have to share their coach with a stranger, Dr. Vitus Vertigast, played by Bela Lugosi. We learn that Vertigast is on his way to visit an old acquaintance, Yalmer Polzig, played by Boris Karloff. They arrive at the train station in a torrential downpour and end up sharing a bus ride from the station with Vertigast and his servant, the mall, played by Harry Cording. Along the way, the bus crashes, stranding them. They make their way through the storm to Polzig's Art Deco mansion. Joan was injured in the crash, so they are forced to stay there for the night. It quickly becomes apparent that something is off in the Polzig mansion. The couple become caught up in a strange power play between Vertigast and Polzig and are eventually held hostage within the house. It is revealed that Polzig isn't just an intense, odd man. He is a Satanist and a black mass is planned that very evening, and Joan is to be the star attraction. This film is listed as suggested by the poem The Black Cat by Edgar Allan Poe, and is directed by another Edgar, Edgar G. Ulmer. The film has very little in common with Poe's work other than the appearance of a black cat. Lugosi's character actually suffers from an intense fear of cats, and a black cat shows up several times throughout the film, mainly just for atmosphere. This was the first of many team-ups between these two titans of terror. They would make a total of eight films together, and this is perhaps the oddest of the bunch. It is certainly an outlier when it comes to the Universal Horror series. Everything about it is strange. Lugosius' hero, Polzig's unnerving personality, the Art Deco mansion, dead women suspended in glass cases, a satanic cult, random black cat appearances, Vertigast's eventual brutal revenge on Polzig, and an explosive ending that Bride of Frankenstein would straight up steal the following year. This film probably shouldn't work as it's such an odd mix of elements, yet it all hangs together through the omnipresent, oppressive atmosphere that lurks in every scene. It's a unique, moody, and memorable film unlike any other in the Universal canon. This one is a true classic and another one of those films that everybody out there had to be expecting in an Edgar Allan Poe countdown. The Black Cat, 1934 with Bela Lugosi, Boris Karloff. You know, it's not like, like I said before, unlike anything else in Universal, in, in the Universal canon. I mean, you, you go through their films and nothing is this much of an oddball. That that whole ending in uh, with uh, Lugosi, uh, playing, uh, getting his revenge uh, is is beautiful. I mean, it is just wonderful. It's a it's a wonderful ending, and um, yeah, I mean, highly recommend it. I'm gonna give this one four ravens out of five. I really like this one. So be sure and check out. Most of you out there have probably seen this film before, The Black Cat, but definitely check it out for those of you who have never seen it. You will enjoy it. All right, so be sure and join me back here tomorrow night, Fright fans. We'll keep this going. Until then, this is Dr. Gangreen saying, Happy Halloween and stay mad.